All right, what do we have today? Oh! <laughs> well, okay. I know what I'm shiny hunting tonight. All right, was there anything else besides cloth? Can I finally get that Pokemon done, chat? I have shiny hunted cloth. I don't even know how many times at this point. Let's see. Uh, there's a lot of decent outbreaks. It's a Viper, I don't need. All right, it's finally time, chat. It's time. Blue crab will be acquired tonight. I hope. <laughs> uh, I hope. Usually I've gone just by doing sandwiches. I don't... Have I had it an outbreak? I want to say I've done a few outbreaks for it. We'll see how this goes. That would be another good Gen 9 Pokemon down, chat, if I can manage to get it. If I can manage to get Cloth tonight, chat, then we're... We're on our... I'm on my way. Let me just tweet it out, and we'll go ahead and get started. I'll do a sandwich, too, if for some reason Cloth wants to be, uh... ...more difficult. Alright. What's up, everybody? How's it going? We got- we got ourselves a- a cloth outbreak. Long have I waited. Uh, down here? <laughs> Look at the way they move when you're far away. Ooh, this is kind of a tight spot. Kind of an enclosed area here. Alright, this isn't really the outbreak I dreamed of, but it's the outbreak the game gave me, so I have to roll with it. Why do they sound like whales? I've never understood this. <laughs> Why does it sound like a whale? Oh jeez, this is an aggressive Pokemon too, I can't... I can't get up to them because they'll definitely hunt me down. Which is terrifying, by the way. Can you imagine if all crustaceans were just extremely aggressive? Terrifying. Also, how big is Cloth? That's a big crab. Yeah, what did they sample for, for Cloth's cry? Oh boy, and then we got all the little shit Pokemon up here in the way, like... Rookity and what's its face? Yeah, geez, they are not giving me a lot of room over here. Whoa, whoa, they're all lined up. I sent Mushy Mush forward and it just doesn't work. Go! I wanted to hide on the cliffside, but I guess it's not really needed. I guess it's it's not really needed. What's up everyone? Welcome to the crab boil. <laughs> welcome welcome to the cloth party. Uh 
a roly poly Pokemon. Uh Galissapod and Wimpod are the only ones I can think of. Are there any other isopod Pokemon? Does Wimpod turn into a ball though? Wimpod is cowardly. It flees, but I don't think it turns into a ball. Gosh, this Pokemon looks like a Muppet. This- this thing looks like it should be hanging out with Kermit instead of Pikachu. At least it's a shiny I can't miss. In spirit only. I would love- you know what, Roly Coley turning into some sort of, like, fire bug for a regional form or something would actually be really cool. I like when they take- like, Toad's Cool is pretty out there. But I still feel like... It's- it's- Great. It is still very tentacoolish. All right, I'm gonna save. Just because it's an isopod. I mean, that's fair. Yeah, they gotta be able to to curl into a ball. Polisopod. Jeez, this thing. This is a noisy Pokemon. <laughs> they kind of have camouflage here. There's no way Cloth doesn't have a body count. This Pokemon definitely kills people every... every year. Did anybody use Cloth on their team? I don't think I saw a single person use it. <laughs> I don't think I've seen anyone ever... whoops... as I run into it. Why has it got the blushy cheeks too? Like what... what is this? What is this Pokemon? It's hairy, it's got bulgy eyes, it sounds like a whale. I don't- I don't know what's going on, really. It has such a- I don't even remember what its ability is. What is it is- what's its ability? See, that's- the- the newer Pokémon, it's, like, hard to remember a lot of the details of newer Pokémon. Like, if I went back and did, like, a... randomizer of Gen 3, like, all those Pokémon I know extremely well. But if I did a randomizer for Scarlet and Violet, which I'd have to have a homebrewed switch to do, which is why it's so difficult. <laughs> I would- I would just be like, well... What am- what am I even working with here? Okay, we got the getting lower. Please, just give me this- this blue crab so I can be free.
Wait, you guys weren't kidding? I thought you were memeing. Its ability is really called Anger Shell? I thought you guys were doing some, some jokes, some japes. That's insane. I straight up thought that you guys were like memeing. <laughs> I thought you were all doing a little goof, having a little goof, doing a little gaff. It really is called Anger Shell? What? I mean, did we really need another crab Pokemon? I, I don't know. Kingler's Gigantamax should have been an actual evolution. What's the best crab Pokemon, chat? Sound off. Which crab are you going to bat for? Yeah, type for your crab and your mushroom. Forgot about Kingler's G-Max. I like Kingler's Gigantamax. I feel like it was a bit more memorable than, like, Machamps. Oh man, I have to hear this Pokemon's cry over and over again. <laughs> man, Makuhita's cry takes me right back to Gen 3. That's crazy. Shout out to- shout out to Brawly. Krabby and Kingler probably are my favorite crab Pokemon. Yeah, I like Corphish and I like Crawdont. They should give Crawdont something. Crawdont could have had a cool paradox. Dwebble and Crustle. I always think about Beta, Dwebble, and, and Crustle where they had like a... Uh, a round shell instead of the, the the final design that they went with. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Mushy, you're good. We're good. Okay. Cookie, cookie. I like Crabrawler. Honestly. I, th I like the colors. It's got a good shiny. Crustle lasagna. Dwebble line is way better than Krabby. Whoa. Krabby and Kingler are, are awesome. What it, What is this Krabby Kingler slander? Like, yes, they're pretty basic. Well, Krabby is. I like Kingler's crown. Like, Kingler literally has a king's crown. And I like the, uh, freakishly large claw. I am shocked they let me put a picnic down. I thought for sure it was gonna be like, no. <laughs> Yeah, his big meaty claw. Exactly. I don't know, chat. Would you burn me at the stake if I said Crabominable has kind of grown on me? Like, Crabrawler and Crabominable definitely don't feel like they should be related to each other. But at the same time, Crabominable's shiny is really good, and it's kind of a It's just a weird freak Pokemon. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of grown on me. Oh yeah. See, I always forget Claw Itzer exists. That's the thing. Like, I feel like that's the most forgettable crab Pokemon.
Like, I can always remember Krabby. I can always remember Kingler. Crabrawler. Oh, jeez, chat. Don't. Well, actually, um, <laughs> they're lobsters. I'm talking, like, overall crustaceans, chat. You don't... Don't do this. <laughs> don't do this. Like, Tyler said Parasect. I don't... Like, I guess. Sure. <laughs> I'm not gonna be like, um, actually... Crustle is magnificent. That's high praise. That is, in fact, high praise. Ugh, why is Shinx over here? Shinx did not need to be in this game. I like the simplicity of Krabby and Kingler. People act like Gen 1 being a little bit simplistic is bad. Pokemon honestly excels at a lot of simplistic monster designs. Sometimes it's just too much, you know? Sometimes, especially in other monster franchises, it's, it's just too much. They go overboard. Sometimes you just need a little simplicity. Balance is key. And then you have cloth. <laughs> Like Celesteela, you think Celesteela is the most over-designed Pokemon? That's a good question. Which Pokemon has the most it has the most like going on design-wise? Cloth does feel off-brand. I agree. I said like it looks like a Muppet. It's like I said earlier, it should be hanging out with Kermit, not Pikachu. What is this? Why do I need one, two, three, four, five, seven? Like, why do I need all these skidoo spawning here? <gasps> I'm here for crab. How many times I'm gonna run into a rookity? Probably too many. Yeah, I like Flamigo too. I keep looking at that rock and thinking it's, like, blue crab. <laughs> Come on. Where is it? This week's deadliest catch. They should do that crab that's on like, what is it, Christmas Island? Where... Like, all the ground just turns into crabs. Because there's like millions and millions and millions of them. They should give us a little like, baby crab. That spawns in like a, a big group. Disgusting. <laughs> Too many crab.
too much crab. Like wishy-washy except crab, yes. Hopefully a little bit better than wishy-washy. <laughs> the hardest part of this game is figuring out where they'll let you put a picnic down. I'm not even joking. <laughs> I like Flamigo's knotted neck. I like its typing. I like its, uh, like, scooped beak. I'll take Flamigo over, like, Bombardier, Kilowattrel, Wattrel any day. Oh, hi, Gimme Ghoul. How are you? Thanks for the five coins, friend. Thank you so much. Yeah, Flamingo- I agree. Flamingos are already, like, very strange-looking fellas. <laughs> They're pink. They got long neck. They already look like they could be a Pokemon. Oh, god damn it. Thank you. All right, I got. I gotta get away from the wall. I was watching, uh, they had VGC in Vancouver today. I was watching a little bit of it. It really is incredible how good they made Incineroar. Rillaboom is also really good. It's like Rillaboom and Incineroar are like the two best starters. Strength, like competitive, VG at least VGC wise. It's funny how Meow Skirata. Skeledurge and Quaquaval have just had zero impact. Like, I would have figured, especially when we started learning about the abilities of the starters before Scarlet Violet came out, I would have figured, like, they would have made Meow Skirata really good. And like, maybe it works in singles, but it's definitely not a very decent VGC Pokemon. At least with the current regulation. Yeah, they just keep buffing Incineroar. <laughs> they really don't care. Every gen, every gen, they're like, let's bring him back and give him something new to work with. Like, even when they open up for legendaries, which I think they're gonna do soon. I think the next regulation will allow legendaries in, so I'm sure Corydon, Muradon, blah blah blah. Like, Incin will probably still stick around. That Pokemon is just so good. Give him super intimidate. <laughs> Oh, 
on Mew. Ooh, I wonder. I don't know if they'll let Mythicals in. They did in Gen 8, so maybe they'll bring that back for 9. Also, somebody wore a hot dog suit? In, in VGC today? I'm surprised they allowed that. <laughs> I'm surprised the, the stuffy Pokemon company didn't just go, no, no fun allowed. Oh my god. Where? Where can I set this up, game? Ugh, picnic mechanics are so- and, and then I have this- this stupid idiot right here in my way. The game will be like, there's a person too close. Alright, I have to do it here. I would love for Mew to be shiny huntable. Huh. Wouldn't it be nice? Pink Bingus. Holy Bingle. I have to like check this thick bit of like foliage here. I mean, I know I'll see it. I'm just making myself paranoid. It's like, what if it's hiding? What if I miss it? <laughs> Haven't gotten a shiny since then. Uh, sometimes it'd be like that. Kiwi green. To match Mewtwo or just... I mean, I feel like Mew's got an S tier shiny, and I love that it has the same shiny as Ditto. Like, that's that's just fun little bit of story building, little little bit of lore for those who know. Like, I'm surprised that's even how it like went. <laughs> surprised I didn't give Ditto like a atrocious, awful shiny. The one tree that rendered- Whoa, why am I scaling the wall? Yeah, like slightly one color either lighter or darker. Getting more... <laughs> Why is Spoink over here? Spoink doesn't strike me as a desert dweller. Sometimes I get a lot of spawns and other times I get nothing. Especially since, like, Ditto is often different colors. Ditto is one of those Pokemon that shows up. Sometimes it's purple, sometimes it's pink, and sometimes it's a weird in-between color. How weird Spoink is. A little piggy with a springtail that will die if it stops bouncing. I, I argue Grumpig might be even weirder. Grumpig has some sort of sinister energy to it that I can't explain. If Pokemon's nature affected the animation so a Jolly Pokemon would run differently from a Bashful one, that would be amazing! I would love for ways for Pokemon to just interact with the environment more. They're just 
plopped down and then don't... Like, they don't... The NPCs are all static. Like, everything is static. Like, I want weather... I want weather to affect the game more. Like, NP... Not to, not to bring this up for, like, the thousandth, thousandth billionth time, but... <laughs> Like, NPCs in Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. If it starts raining, they go for shelter. It's just such a little detail that adds so much to the world. Makes it feel more lived in, more real. But when there's weather in this game, absolutely nothing really happens. The little rides they used to have in front of supermarkets... Yeah. Like, a, a mechanical, like, pony? Those don't really exist anymore. A lot of them don't even have, like, the gumball machines. What made you bring that up? Oh, little rideable Spoinks. Spoink doesn't seem like a Pokemon that'd be very comfortable to ride. It would probably all be Ponyta. I bet they were expensive to, uh, to maintenance. They should have made Paradox, uh, Violet, Spoink. <laughs> it gets a spring implant, so it never stops bouncing. You broke your finger on the ride because your mom wasn't supervising you? Ooh, ow. Yeah, that's another reason. Not, not like lawsuits, but kids, kids getting hurt. It's the same reason why McDonald's doesn't really have like play places anymore. Why they've been like phasing them out. It should be- they should have the ones like they have in Spongebob, <laughs> where they're the- the seahorses. Japan has a few uh, Pokemon playgrounds. There's one that's there's one dedicated to Chansey. Lucky. Lucky in Japanese. So it's just not worth the risk anymore. Yeah. Nobody wants to have to, like, offer a waiver before you ride- your, your little Timmy goes on a mechanical horse, you know? I don't know, like, what's the best- what, what is an ideal playground? I don't have a ton of playgrounds near me. I don't I don't know what a good playground looks like these days. The only times I've been to playgrounds recently 
And I, by recently, I mean years ago, was for Pogo, because most playgrounds are usually a, a stop or a gym. I don't know, I do think that, uh... Where is that, that slide that that cop came flying out of, that meme? <laughs> that slide looks kind of fun. I don't know, slides were never my favorite as a kid. They always were like... Static electricity magnets. And they were never that, like, exciting. A tire swing. Swings were always my favorite. I like swings to this day. <laughs> swings are just fun. If a playground has swings, then it's a good playground in my book. If I had the space or some, like, a tree, I don't even- <laughs> If I had a place to put a swing, I would. Swings rule. Get more static. <laughs> Catch your rumpy poppin'. I'm surprised there aren't more, like, I talked about the Pokemon playgrounds in Japan. I'm surprised there's not more of that here. Where it's like, Disney is putting in a new playground and blah blah blah. And you have like a, a Mickey Mouse swing and a, a goofy slide, stuff like that. I'm surprised there aren't more, like, IP park stuff. I guess you gotta go to Disney for that. <laughs> Ugh, skidoo, skidoo, skidoo. I hate that they make me get off the dragon to, to do a picnic. Like, okay. Like, thanks a lot, game. Never give you a playground for free? That's true, Midnight. That's true. I follow a Disney account that <laughs> that it, it usually it's just like theme park news, whatever. But it's been posting like I guess the Disney shareholders want to push Bob Iger out, and so I've been seeing them push like publish articles that are like Josh Gad officially vouches for for Bob Iger to stay as Disney CEO, and it's like oh well, if Josh Gad says that he should stay. <laughs> It's like, what, what is this? Is this how that works? To stay as CEO, you need a bunch of your buddies to be like, no, you should stay CEO. Is that, is that how big corporate business works? <laughs> a Dennis the Menace themed playground back in the day? That's cool. The burning your leg part isn't cool, but... <laughs> 
Dennis the Menace seems an appropriate one for a playground. Yeah, a corporate popularity contest. And I've seen that, like, multiple times. The first one was, like, Michael Eisner, who was a former Disney CEO. So it's like, sure, okay, a former Disney CEO, fine. But, like, Josh Gad? <laughs> Josh, Josh Gad? What are his qualifications to be saying this? I voice Olaf. Huh? <laughs> Oh, well, if that- if that's the case, then... Why don't they make him Disney CEO? It is funny, though, that they're trying to, like, oust Iger. I guess because... Disney has been flaming garbage in everything they've made and done the past few years. I was in uh I was in a I was in the store the other day and I walked down I cut through the girls aisle and there was so much Disney Wish stuff on the shelves and I'm like what child wants this? What little kid wants this this trash? <laughs> it was fully stocked too. There was- there was- every doll there was in place. Nobody was buying it. Look at them, they're like spawning clusters. Cloth clusters. A group of cloth is called a cluster. Yes, yeah, straight to the landfill. <laughs> Moana was their last good movie. Yeah, if we're not counting Pixar... I would probably agree with you. They've also had a few, like, Disney Wish things for, like, Epcot it has, like, uh, seasonal things they do every year, and it's- it's always just, like... <laughs> you know they plan this ahead of time, so even though the movie flopped, and people did not like it, like, they still have to, like, put up... What's-her-face's topiary for- for the Epcot festival, it's just kind of funny. Hello. Forgot about Incon- I did not enjoy that movie very much. I'm not quite sure why that movie got all the fanfare that it did. What's even coming out this year, chat? I was thinking about this earlier, like... <laughs> there's kind of nothing going on right now. <laughs> We're- we're waiting for more... for more everything, like... There's been some movies announced for, like, the next few years. But, like, for this year? Like, I guess the Princess Peach game just came out. Did anybody try that? Did anybody play it?
Bruno is a Tumblr sexy man. That feels like a corporate plant. I refuse to believe this. You watched a YouTuber play some of it. Did it look interesting? I've thought about downloading the demo, but I don't know. To get for a kid, but not very much for adults. Yeah, I mean, I figured that it was going to be like... A game primarily meant for... For kids. Nintendo's finally realizing that they can make an absolute killing selling Princess Peach and Daisy merch to little girls. A hat in time vibe to it. I heard it described as Balan Wonderworld, but good. <laughs> Which... I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about that. Also, what's going on with that new Capcom game that they're apparently selling, like, in-game items as microtransactions. Dragon's Dogma. That's insane. Can you imagine if Pokemon did that, where it's like you could buy a full restore for like one dollar of human, actual real money? Human money. As opposed to Pokemon money. You apparently have to pay to start your game over. How do these how do these these guys think they can get away with that? That's <laughs> Oh my god. Human money. Holy moly. I am falling. Wow. I don't know how that happened. I just crashed into a Makuhita. When is Easter? Easter. Sunday, March 31st. Jeez, this week. That's crazy. That wanted to pay to reload in Battlefield. How much- how much severe brain poisoning do you have to have to think like that? That's the guy that went on to, uh... Was it Unity that wanted to charge devs every time people, like, open the game or whatever? Same guy. Loads of chocolate. Easter candy is great. I have some, uh... I mean, they're just M&Ms. <laughs> There's nothing, like, special about them, but they're, uh, a pastel blend. <laughs> And Mr. Red Eminem has some bunny ears on. Let's go! I 
And then you go like the day after Easter and you get all the, the good candy on clearance. This month has gone by really quickly. <laughs> Alright chat, we're almost an hour in and I still have not found my shiny crab yet. Uh-oh. I will not let this Pokemon betray me. I'm getting this thing shiny tonight or so help me. Or so help me. Any advice on someone who wants to start streaming for shinies? Uh. Uh. <laughs> I can't- I can't think of anything! <laughs> I don't want to be like, have fun! <laughs> I do what you enjoy, I guess. Don't feel compelled to follow everybody else's trends, I suppose. Shiny hunt for what you want to shiny hunt. Step one, start streaming. Step two, find the shiny. Step three, profit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that. <laughs> Step one, buy 50 capture cards for Pokemon Heart Gold. Step two, shiny hunt Cyndaquil. Step three, buy 500 more capture cards. I'm joking, of course. What? What? How long have I been streaming? Uh, tail end of Let's Go into Sword and Shield era. <laughs> the more valuable the pixels. Blindfolded full odds authentic synesty. That's where the real views are. You're right. How long until the uh all the people that like make drama videos about speedrunners cheating like comes over to to shiny hunting?
Damn, is this gonna- I'm gonna- am I gonna have to do a sandwich right now? You want some real advice? Get ready to answer, uh, if you have the shiny charm every day. <laughs> do you have the shiny charm? Do you have the shiny charm? No. <laughs> do you have the shiny charm? Do you have the shiny charm? Do you have it? Is that like- is that like a full odds hunter type thing? Is that why people ask that? Is it because of them that I have to deal with that question all the time? My shinies are only legitimate if they're full odds. Oh no, not low- not low battery. Yeah, cloth is rock. For some reason... <laughs> what a- again, this Pokemon is so, so bizarre. Min-max strat to hunt it in this location. That's crazy. I mean, I do get plenty of comments that are like, why no sandwich? Why have you used a sandwich? Why are you not using a sandwich? Which is a very funny question out of context. <laughs> have you sandwiched today? <laughs> Boober, Magmar mentioned. Booper and Boober really are similar. I'm gonna become Magmar instead. Oh boy, it's my favorite Gen 9 Pokemon. I always nimble. <laughs> I don't or I don't ever forget Pokemon's names, but sometimes with with Nimble I'm like, who are you? <laughs> what is this? Huh? Like I, I can tell you who Wormadam is. I can tell you any any obscure Pokemon. But sometimes I look at I look at Nimble and I'm, it's just like what is it? it's cricket. It's little fella. There he is, there's the guy. Also, we'll be doing Shaman again tomorrow, Chad. We're gonna go for Shaman Sunday. Because Outbreak's just... People just don't seem interested in this game right now. <laughs> Which I... I get it. It's tough. Like, this is a great way for me to get a lot of shinies I need. 
but also I just don't think people are very interested in Scarlet and Violet right now, so what what do you do? Time to go get my 50 capture cards. Time to do a sick Nuzlocke. I can do the uh, impossible Kaizo Ironmon. Where I spend 95% just resetting in Professor Oak's lab. I mean, people seem to like it. <laughs> Pi has like 4K viewers doing it, so... Iron Mon. Four, four shank, five shanks, a spoink, and a skidoo. I love outbreaks in this game, chat. They're great. <laughs> They're absolutely fantastic. Have I done radical red? No. I still can't believe they took down Relic Castle, chat. That's so sad. <laughs> also, uh, I posted this in the Pogo Discord. But, like, what's going on with the, the faces in Pogo? <laughs> why, why did everybody turn so lumpy? What- do they have anybody, like, actually working at Niantic anymore, or is it all just, like, bot run? <laughs> Those faces are crazy. They don't even look like the original art anymore. And they somehow- their skin got li like- <laughs> there's- the skin tone changed. Like, they, they just can't ever roll out anything and have it be competently done anymore. There always has to be some problem. There always has to be some sort of issue. Like, they genuinely look terrible. The Zerud paw curls. I like of all the monkey Pokemon you could have chosen, you went with Zerud. <laughs> yeah, and Relic Castle never accepted money. At least that's what they claim. So TPCI just took them down. Just for the lulls, I guess. I don't know, if you want to see what I'm- I'm talking about, that's what they look like. 
Or at least that's what some of them are starting to look like. Like, that's not the same guy. Like, what's going on? <laughs> what, what's going on with that? And then they're, and then they're like, well, Pokemon Unite has great customization. Who cares about Pokemon Unite's customization, please? You can't be serious. Oh my god, please stop falling. I mean, I haven't logged into Pogo in quite some time, but you can't even see my trainer's face because I have the Gimme Ghoul glasses on and, like, the Cosmog hat. <laughs> you can't even see my character's face. It's just... It's just all, uh, costume. I mean, half the costumes in the game never fit right. Like, you would try things on and, and clothing would just clip through. Oh, what can you do? Unbelievable. I've been here for an hour. I have the outbreak as low as it will go. And this this crab still refuses to be shiny. <laughs> That's incredible. That is truly amazing. I think shiny cloth got patched out of my game, everyone. <laughs> Masuda personally went into my game and uh and took it out. It's over. I mean, you're not wrong, Taylor. I probably I probably should just do one. It's the principle of the matter. Like I don't want to I don't want to waste the resources when it should just show up. It should just be here. And then I'm locked in for 30 minutes. So it's like, if Cloth shows up shiny, great, then what? Then where do I go? I feel like I need to maximize my sandwich time profits. Whitewash the color white. <laughs> It's like they have where the models, like, squash and stretch, so the features just don't accommodate them. It's really weird. It looks like they took the laziest, like, low-effort route possible for this new feature, which, wow, what a surprise. Niantic cutting corners? <laughs> That's never happened before. Gasp. 
Never have I ever. And again, the fact that it took, what, eight years for them to even do this in the first place? Eight years. Well after a good chunk of their player base has dropped the game. Eight years. Wow. I'm not sure they pushed that feature out yet. Pogo always rolls out everything so clunkily. So I don't even know if it's been fully rolled out yet or not. I don't know, I looked at... It. Like, I still follow Leak Duck. I always got all my Pogo news from Leak Duck. So I still follow Leak Duck, so I see occasionally, you know, what, what's going on? And I saw, like, the, the raids for the month, and it's like, wow, nothing has changed. <laughs> Just the same recycled trash again and again. Oh boy, the genies and Groudon and Kyogre. Wow, thrilling. The vibes the vibes feel off, chat. What's I think cloth is ruining the vibes. I don't- I don't know. Cloth- Cloth is... Something- something is amiss. What's up, Distruggle? Welcome to the crab boil. Welcome to the crab fiesta. I am trying to get a blue crab. I'm an hour plus in. And, uh... No blue crab. But I will not give up. Cloth is putting out some some bad vibes, but I will not get I will not give up. Let me look at my list. I don't think I need any anybody close to Cloth on my shiny list. Let me check. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. I have Toad's Cruel. I have Capsicid, Scoville, Relore, Rabska, Flittle, Aspathra. I need Tadbulb, Cloth, and then Tinkaton's Line and Wiglet. And I will have this entire square done. Everybody else I have. I don't ever see Tinkaton's uh, outbreak or outbreaks for that line. Nothing worse than slaving hours for a shiny of a Pokemon you don't even like. <laughs> oh, that's too real. <laughs> that's extremely real. It's like Tadbulb that I did the other day. It's like this Pokemon I don't even like and it has a terrible shiny. Like in the very least, Cloth has a shiny I like. No, there's just like nothing going on. It's like I don't know what to talk about. <laughs> Crab. What's going on in the world today? I finally I'm glad I got Knackley. 
Na nas nas nasty nasty. Yeah, exactly, Midnight. At least it's noticeable and not tad bulb levels bad. Oh my goodness. I love being looped into battles. How does its how do its eyeballs stay moist? This thing's eyes are just out there. There's no lids. I'm asking real questions here. Real things. Real real good questions being asked right now. Bagon. Maybe that's a sign, Midnight. Maybe it's time to look. Do another randomizer. I've been wanting to play through Gen 3 and Gen 2 again. I'm getting that itch. I don't know. I love going back and playing old Pokemon games. They're always so delightful. Like, there's, there's very few times where I'm like... I wouldn't be down to play Gen 1, 2, 3 again. Is Bagon Violet exclusive? Yeah, just insane. Like, I. Gen 1 is just a delight. I could play red, blue, green, <laughs> yellow, <laughs> or fire red, or leaf green. Fire red and leaf green is what all the Kaizo Iron Mons are typically done on. One, two, three, and five. Five is kind of long. Like, I love Gen 5, don't get me wrong. But it's kind of an undertaking. It's not an easy peasy lemon squeeze. A Gen 2 can kind of be like that too, unfortunately. Like, I love Gen 2. But getting 16 badges and getting to red can kind of be like. Ugh. Like, when I've done races or randos and I'm discussing them with Tyler, it was often times where it's like, well, Gen 2 would be great, but... You got all the... Which, it's a great problem to have. That's why I love Gen 2. But you gotta get to red. I feel like just beating Lance in the Elite Four is not the full Gen 2 experience. You gotta go all the way. Every other modern conveniences. What's your ideal Gen 1 remake then, Justin? I'm sad the Sevi Islands have only ever stayed in Fire Red and Leaf Green. Yeah, I don't think Let's Go counts. Let's Go is a weird hybrid game. <laughs> it's kind of- I honestly think Let's- of Let's Go is, it, is, is in a category with, like, PLA. They both have, like, limited Pokemon mechanics and stuff like that. No abilities, blah, blah, blah. Do I have Cranido Shiny? I think so. Let me check. Where's my 
Where is Kranidos in the Gen 4 decks? I have Rampardos. I need Shieldon and Bastio. I'm still missing a decent chunk of fossils. I'll get him at some point. I could probably find a Kranidos raid for Blueberry if I if I really wanted to get it. Special physical split, all Pokemon, infinite use TMs, decorate your room at home. That was such a thing for like gens one, two, and three. What happened? Yeah, everybody has been playing through Gen 6 lately. I've been wanting to play Gen 6 closer towards PLZA. But... I don't know. I could definitely play it sooner. I'm more curious. Honestly, I would go back and play Gen 6 again, just to see the differences between Lysander's dialogue and X and Y. I need to do a- I need to do like a research paper on Lysander. <laughs> I need to go study his dialogue. It really is such a bummer that we don't have a side game this year. I would love to play Mystery Dungeon. A Gen 9 Mystery Dungeon. Those are very comfy. Well, <laughs> except unless you're running into like a monster house, in which case it is the opposite of that. Usually comfy games. Yeah, so when you- if I did, like, I don't know, do I want to do vanilla or a randomizer for Gen 6? Because when you do randomizers of later gens, you get such a big pool of Pokemon, it's more fun. But also, I wouldn't mind playing again and, like, taking Fennec in and getting another Gen 6 team of Pokemon I didn't really use. Like, I would use Furfrow, chat. I would use Go-Goat. Call me Gita. I'm gonna bring Avalok. <laughs> I do like doing uh, playthroughs of where I haven't used Pokemon before. Every route would have like 50 Pokemon? That seems like a ton! Oh, that's what you're saying. Yeah, that would be like insane. <laughs> I was gonna say, every route has 50 Pokemon, Mamma Mia. Yeah. I think transferable is- is fine. I think that's... That would be acceptable. The daycare under Cerulean. That might be one of the daycares I've gone to the least. I don't think I've ever really done... ...a ton with- with the Cerulean daycare. I don't know, is that weird? <laughs> That's one of the daycares I've probably been to the least. Like, I've been to the one in, in outside of Goldenrod tons of times. Even, like, Gen 4. Gen 3. Tons of times.
Probably the one I've been to the most is Gen 8. Which is kind of funny. <laughs> not, uh, not speaking on the quality, but... Yeah, they would raise your Pokémon before Pokémon could breed. And then, of course, Fire Red Leaf Green had it functional. Gen 6 had a good daycare. I did the Gen 7 one a lot. Gen 7 was the first time I ever did a Masuda hunt. I got Pichu. Bab Quest was there since day one. <laughs> Pichu is like a Zach Galifianakis egg in Puss in Boots. It's it's always been there, the entire time. This entire time. All right, I'm gonna do one more look around, and then I guess I'm gonna make a sandwich. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to. Uh... Ugh, I still type in sword and shield. Please, I am begging them to have Gen 10 not start with an S. I guess I could just type in sandwich guy. I don't need to type in Pokemon blah 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 and Pokemon blah blah blah. There, okay. The rock takes bacon. Bacon! Yeah, the, where you'd spin on the Tauros? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's weird to think about Gen 7. Well, actually, no, it was 6, because you could ride on Rhyhorn in 6. It's always weird to think about mechanics that have been around for a while that they've refined in like every generation to what it is now like would we be riding on Corridon if they didn't start doing like Rhyhorn in in gen 6 and Tauros and company in gen 7 All right, it's time to cook some bacon. We are going to save. Any luck with the shiny? No. Desperate times call for desperate sandwich measures. We owe it, we owe it all to Rhyhorn Racing. Pokemon Sage and Maroon. They would do that. They would go for another S game. Why can't you save sandwiches, chat? I would make a sandwich for every type and just have it saved, if I could. Ugh. All right, big slabs, ugh, they look so gross. <laughs> they look so gross. All right, bacon. A salty and then I could do sweet, spicy, or sour. I guess I'll do spicy. Yeah, t go uh, go tweet at Masuda. I'm sure he'll uh, he'll definitely listen. <laughs> oh, why why are these such th thick slabs of bacon? <laughs> All right. Why did the sandwich pick just kind of move there? Haunted. None of the food on the table really looks good. It's the anti-Studio Ghibli food. Yeah, fellas, enjoy your bread with three gross slabs of whatever that is. Alright. Alright. 
No more excuses, Cloth. No more exclu excuses. No more. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> okay! Alright, no more excuses indeed. No more- <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're you're a funny guy. You're you're a funny lady, Cloth. You're hilarious. I laugh every time. <laughs> literal literal seconds after I do the sandwich. Okay. All right. Instantaneous. It's free crab real estate. Finally, like a year and a half later, I get my blue crab. We've been freed. We have been freed. Oh, it's always nice shiny hunting these Pokemon over here, Chad, because they're so low level. No more, no more excuses and cloth said bet. <laughs> yes, we got it. Oh my goodness. I can finally mark it off the list. This is a joyous occasion. Boom. My stream deck is sleeping. All right, what mark do you have, ma'am? Friend? New friend? Cloth the Cloud Watcher. Oh my god, it's adamant too. It was all worth it, chat. It it was it was all worth it, I guess. Uh well, I still have a lot of sandwich left. I could try to get Glamora, I guess. VGC cloth. It's time. It's actually time. Wait, that's not the right place. I don't know why. <laughs> How do you prevent brain rot while doing this? That's a great question. I don't shiny hunt anything specific for very long. With shiny hunting, I always, like, always take breaks, Chad. If you're doing a specific hunt and it's driving you insane, take a break. Yeah, like Shaman, I say, as we're going to be doing Shaman tomorrow. Shaman Sunday. All right, let's see. Oh, we're going to get Garganackle, too. Always good to have something else going on too. Like if you're, I I have chat to talk to, and it's always fun to talk about whatever. But definitely have some sort of like <laughs> something else you're that you're doing, watching, listening to, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. No, I'm referring to Shaman and BDSP. I guess I should I should save her shaman while I while I shiny hunt it because Darkrai and Arceus are gonna be way more annoying. You still have Pokemon Day outbreaks. 
They get a, they gotta give us another outbreak event. It's time. I'm gonna hope- I'm gonna continue to manifest that they do, like, Hisui Growlithe. They've been pushing Hisui Growlithe a lot because there's, like, a new Perrin card. Here's to hoping. Oh yeah, the- <laughs> What is it called? The new set came out the other day. Temporal for- Temporal Forces. Now that you got all the vivs, you will <laughs> do an outbreak event with increased odds. I mean... <laughs> that would be kind of great, though. Like, how much time I got? I got 24. Great. I got Glimmit, I just need Glamora. March has been the month of me getting all the Gen 9 shinies that I've still needed. If I can just get Smoliv to show up, then... Uh... I'd be in there. Or Tinkaton. Oh yeah, can you even host a picnic down here? In Area Zero? Ugh, this area is... Area Zero is... More annoying than it has any right to be. I don't know what type of what type of outbreak event should they do, Chad? Maybe like a springtime one. But I feel like we already got that when they did like Flabebe. I guess I'll just keep hoping for Hisui Growlithe. Or you can have Sneasler in the game, right? Maybe <laughs> just bring in like Hisui Sneasel. That would be fine too. That'd be another good one I'd like to get done. Sometimes the reflections make Glimmit look blue. Oh, Blossom would be a fitting one, actually. Or any of the Oddish family or Bellsprout family. All Hisui. All Hisui. All the time. What kind of forms are we going to get for PLZA, chat? Who's going to be like the Ursaluna of PLZA? Yeah, the Badoo line would fit too. I saw that blue crystal. <laughs> it gave me false hope. Oh, a Garganacle stuck in the wall. My favorite. They kind of gave up on explaining the extinct Hisui Pokemon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're here for, uh, uh, for, for some reason. Hisui Quillfish. I might, I always forget Hisui Quillfish exists.
don't ask questions. I mean, they had to have known that they were going to write themselves into a hole with Pokemon that were in the past. I mean, how are they going to do paradoxes moving forward? Like, when we're in Gen 10, Gen 11, whatever, how is it going to make sense for Iron Valiant to be there? I think it's pretty funny that they're like, well, that, that's a that's a problem for future employees. <laughs> to figure out. How is it going to make sense for you to have great tusk? I don't know. And they're going to have to keep doing that for the Hisui Pokemon. Here's a question, chat. In the next trailer for Pokemon Legends ZA, what do you think they're going to show? Are there going to be Mega Evolutions? Are there going to be... Whatever Hisui forms for PLZA? You think they're going to show AZ? A flash of starters? Like the first PLA trailer. I think they're going to show the starters. A little bit of gameplay. A look at the world, obviously. And then... I think we're going to see... One or two... Mega Evolutions. I don't know if- how are alphas gonna work in like a city setting? I want to say yes, because that was such a big part of PLA. But would it make sense to have like a ginormous alpha furfrau in a city? I don't know. Will we see the final evos or just the first forms? They always save the final evos for like a week or two before release. They will not show final evolutions. No way. It'll just be like Trico, Tepig, blah, blah, blah. What insert starter you think will be in the game here? Yeah, I, I don't know if there's ever been a time where I've been more, like, invested in seeing gameplay for a Pokemon game ever, Chad. <laughs> like, obviously gameplay is huge for any video game ever. Duh. But I, I just, like, can't even visualize it. Like, how is it gonna work? What's it gonna look like? We don't even know what time period we're dealing with right now. Is it gonna be in the future? Is it gonna be in the past? And if so, how far in the future or how far in the past? Like, trying to visualize what the game will look like is just very difficult right now. And what ancestors are we gonna see? Are we gonna see, like, Lysander's ancestor is the professor or something? Or are they gonna go with a fully original character 
or a character where you can't quite tell, like Lavington. Like a lot of people think he's related to like Hopper Leon. In the same way, I feel like Irida is definitely like a May ancestor, but like I can't prove it. <laughs> It's just a theory. Post Kalos War. I feel like they'll never. Well, I mean, you did say post, but I don't know. War setting in a Pokemon game, even like the aftermath, just seems like something they would never do. Seems like kind of a big bummer, you know? <laughs> Glamora is your favorite Gen 9 mon. I love Glamora too. I'm very happy I used it on my team. Shout out to Glim Glam. Yeah, I'm getting a bajillion spawns. I just gotta get lucky. It'd be nice to knock off two rock types I need with this one sandwich. <laughs> that funny dog that I hate. <laughs> that fucking bird that I hate. That fucking bird that you hate. Tron energy? Yeah, they definitely went for like a... To me, it seemed kind of futuristic. It did not scream past. It was very, like, architecture... I don't know. See, I just have no idea. I mean, maybe it could be in, like, the 19... The Pokemon equivalent of, like, the 1960s or something. I, who the frick knows? Has Pokemon tackled dark themes? I just have a hard time believing they'd ever, like... ...show, like, war stuff in a game meant to sell millions of copies primarily targeted towards children. I'm not saying, like, kids can't handle adult themes or anything like that. I'm thinking of it from a marketing point of view. It was very vague. It was super D duper vague. Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm saying. They would never... They're never gonna make a game that isn't, like, super duper marketed towards... Kids. Families, whatever. Whatever whatever category you want to use. Come on, Glim Glam. I got 11 minutes. 11 minutes in a dream. I mean, some people, uh, don't seem to acknowledge that fact, by the way. <laughs> I have seen some truly brain-dead Twitter discourse lately where it's like... Are you serious? Yeah, there are plenty of games out there that will tackle deep subjects and get into dark things like that, but I don't think Pokemon's gonna be one of them. I mean,
I mean, I don't need Pokemon to tell, like, a dark story to be, like, mature. <laughs> you can still have good writing. No matter what you're talking about. Yeah, like, the I was thinking, yeah, Arvin's stuff is probably... Like, even, like, the subject of, like, bullying was, was pretty... not well done. <laughs> I am looking for Glamora. Right now. I just got Cloth trying to grab another Gen 1 Mon that I need shiny. I don't know, and one thing I've noticed, maybe I've just seen too much, like, Avatar discourse on my timeline lately, but a lot of times when things are well written, people still can't comprehend them. A lot of things that are really well made, well written, seem to have some of the dumbest fan bases. Guys, I straight up saw a tweet today that was like, Aang getting mad at Toph for choosing to save their lives over Appa was bad, actually. It's like... Wow, you are so fucking stupid. <laughs> Where are all these awful Avatar takes coming from lately? I- I truly- what broke people's brains? It's- it's in the same vein of that tweet where it was like, Katara... ...was mean for saying that her- she loved her mother more than Sokka did. It's like, what- what's going on here? Is- is media literacy truly, truly dead? It's like all the people that... ...see evil characters and are like, that's bad, actually. This evil fictional character, you're problematic for liking them. Oh. Oh, okay. Wild. Why is Mushy Mush on a tube? This is not deep water. You can stand in the water, Breloom. You don't need to bring out your tube. Getting a ton of spawns, but I'm just not getting lucky. Imagine rock types betraying me. What's up, Galaxy? Almost drowned as a shroomish. Well, Fungus usually likes to be moist, so you would think Mushy Mush would not mind. Man, I haven't been in Area Zero in a long time, chat. <laughs> I was here a lot when the game first came out to get all the paradoxes, and then... Ever since then, it's like... 
I really have not been back here in a long time. Grinding your new X team to beat the Elite Four. Nice. Yeah, just for the hatch screen. You are correct. What Pokemon do I hate the most from the latest game? Enamorous. It's an atrocity of a Pokemon. Jeez, my, my hand's actually getting tired hold, pushing the stick forward. <laughs> Shiny hunting is serious gaming business, chat. Very serious. I like most Pokemon. I especially like when they're shiny, like that Glimmit right there. I'm big fans of when they're shiny. <laughs> Extr Ooh, we got a special one. A special little Glim Glam. Yes, thank you for not betraying, dearest friend. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Oh, that's two good Gen 9 Shinies down. Yes! It's only been like a year and a half later, but I'm finally getting them done. You love to see it. I mean, it had to happen eventually. <laughs> it had to, uh... It had to happen eventually, right? That is a really nice shiny. Glimora and Glimit are underrated, chat. I stand by this. They are underrated. Let's go. Oh my god, Glimit the Sleepy. I've gotten two back-to-back -back marked Pokemon chat, and they've both been kind of unique and not sociable. Oh shoot, I need to set box shiny box 17 up. How much time do I got left? Two minutes? I guess I'll just wander around for those two minutes and then I'll evolve Glimmit. Eep Glim Glam. Mabostiff is the correct answer for Gen 9. Yeah, you're right. Mabostiff and Enamorous. Like Poker Rust? Yes. They got rid of that in this gen, didn't they? You go to Nurse Joy and she's like, you have an infected Pokemon. And it's like, what? It never won't amuse me that they try to go for like a tear jerking dog dying thing with Arvin and he has one of the ugliest Pokemon I've ever seen. <laughs> that scene did not resonate with me. It's not even a food Pokemon. They should have given him Scovillain. Instead of Mabossif. I mean, he has a Scovillain, but... That ruins his, his, uh, food team.
Maybe they eat dogs there. Delicious. You could you could eat its disgusting human looking mustache. Ugh. What's wrong with Finny's in? Yeah, ex wait a second. You're right. Fido would have absolutely worked. Wait. You're actually correct. Hold on a second. They haven't done a mass outbreak for Easter? You're right. Why haven't they? Why haven't they, though? Yeah, that kind of blew my mind. It's like, why did they make Mabostiff and Mash Chief instead of just doing... Instead of just doing Fido? In Dash Bun. That's wild. I'm gonna think about that forever now. Oh, come on. Voice feels so clunky to do this. Shiny. Seventeen. There. Oh, and I gotta change- we gotta do yellow. Th this game really is not beating the worst wallpaper allegations. All right, let's take our our cloth out. <laughs> Why does that sound like a threat? Okay, it's only level 15, so if I run into anybody, I cloth will die. You used it to beat his Mabostiff? Good. Why did he give this thing such a good shiny? Like, even the fur turns white. Yeah, he should walk sideways. You're right. What is this Pokemon? <laughs> Why does it have blushy cheeks? And eyeballs that look like that? Why this? Ugh, this area is so mind-numbingly bright. They didn't even make it a lobster so we could do, like, rock lobster jokes. All is lost. Its cheeks, like, glow. Like they're- like it's Pikachu. Why? Somebody- somebody go to Bulbapedia and tell me Cloth's deepest lore. What is this thing supposed to be based off of? Why does it have... blushy cheeks? You don't think this white area is too bright? What does that have to do with touching grass? Maybe you should get your eyes examined. This 
So it's just based on like 50 different crabs. Oh, what a good shiny! Mortal spin. I don't know why I'm bothering with this right now. All right, Glamora. Sleepy Glamora. It's- it's not the fastest Pokémon, but, you know... Camera's not letting me get in here. Certain Pokémon, they just- The camera will zoom very far out. That's the be that's the best the camera will let me do here. Well, at least I got t at least I it spins spin. At least I got Glamora done finally. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Why is my backpack not loading in like correctly? Oh my god, what's happening? My backpack turned black? What the- what is happening? What? What the f- what? My backpack is green screened. What a well made video game. My backpack is just- in the void. It went to the Shadow Realm. The straps have, like, disappeared. <laughs> uh, is my game gonna- I'm gonna save, chat. You know what I should do? I should save. Um, hmm. Interesting. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> This poorly- this- this ugly, overly bright area disintegrated my backpack. Uh-oh. Game? Hello? Oh, it's that- that pack of Vibrava that just spawned in. <laughs> My backpack is still bugged, by the way, chat. I- I- I don't know what's going on. That's a new one! This game has- has fucked up in f so many different ways, but a ghost backpack is a, uh... It's a fascinating new one. Actually, if you just had a newer Switch, then, uh, this game would run perfect. I hit every button except the one I wanted to. Okay. It loads there correctly. All right, I fixed it. It's fine. <laughs> I fixed it. It's fine. Well, that was it. That was a new one, chat. That's a, that's fun. <laughs> the scyther is just standing on top of me. This is such a great video game. No iframes. No nothing. Stupid assholes just standing right on top of me. 
while I'm menuing. This is such a well-designed game made by competent developers. I missed my Shadow Realm backpack already, chat. I should have I should have kept it. <laughs> I should have kept it on. All right, did I have any other outbreaks worth looking at? No. I mean, you have to remember that a lot of the work on these Pokemon games gets outsourced. And that's why a lot of it just does not come together. <laughs> Their team is so tiny that they have to outsource a lot of the work. And that's the result that happens. Amongst many other things. Blah, 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 blah. We've talked about this to death. Iggly buff. That would be a dreadful hunt in this game. I'm glad I got Iggly buff in, in Sword and Shield because that would not be a, that would not be a fun one in this game. Electabuzz, hmm. Oh, there's the Cheddars. I don't know, the last time I did raids, I got like some snooty comments that were like, wow, you're really raiding from shiny Pokemon man or whatever. So my, uh, my, my will to do, to do raids has diminished. Oh God, I hate this area. I love how this map just, is it, Inside the cave? Is it outside the cave? What level is it on? No indication. Absolutely no indication. Chespin. Why is Chespin in here? I would love for Chespin to show- Where am I going? Is there no- Well, I guess that's it. So it's outside? Every time there are outbreaks over here, I I should just start ignoring them. Is there some hidden level below where it is? People are Imagine people being weirdly judgmental about shiny hunting. That would be crazy. Huh. Imagine that. Imagine people getting on a high horse over pixels. <laughs> My, would that be crazy? Electabuzz, you Thunderbolt! Electabuzz is one of the 
best electric Pokemon of all time. Game Freak is a company that is that offers lots of good benefits. They're not uh I can't speak for how much the devs are paid, but they have a lot more benefits in time off and maternity and paternity leave than many other gaming companies have. They're a far more progressive dev team than a lot of others are. Apparently, Nintendo is very good to work for, but that's Nintendo, not Game Freak. Hello. Source, trust me, bro. Wow, that's fast. We're getting through this one fast. There's a lot of Electabuzz here. Elected fur. I've <laughs> Like, I guess Electabuzz is fuzzy. It's something I guess I, I've never really thought about. I should have that on my stream deck. Here, I'll play it for you, chat. If you've never heard this, you're in for a treat. Why is this clip 38 seconds? This should not- this should be like 5 seconds. Go, Electabuzz! Go, <laughs> I- I like the guy's voice almost more. Go, Electabuzz! Thunderbolt! Like, that's some S-tier dubbing right there. Go elect the buzz, touch a ball. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> oh man. Has I'm gonna keep asking this until somebody tells me. <laughs> Has anybody watched the uh, the dub of Horizons? Is it any good? Hell, maybe I need to check it out. At some point, just just to know. I don't remember who's voicing uh, the two leads. What channel is it on? I don't even know what. Cha Does it air on Netflix? Okay, game. All right. Get him. Go. Go forth. One, two, three. One, two, three. This, uh... This lady's listening to Toad sing Chandelier. One, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, yo. 
I didn't even get the outbreak fully down yet. Electabuzz is, like I said, one of the best electric types of all time. Beautiful, gorgeous. Thank you, my friend. Go, Electabuzz, you Thunderbolt! <laughs> friend of the stream, Electabuzz. Uh, I guess I guess I'll go premiere. He kind of looks like he'd be like Cheeto flavored. You know what I mean? Okay, so I have Electabuzz, but I need Electivire. <laughs> I don't have Electivire. What the frick? Oh, trade evolutions. They're so much fun. You got your switch handy, Tyler? <laughs> no. Can we abolish trade evolutions? Electabuzz is only 3 7. That doesn't seem right. Oh, it's jolly. Electabuzz honestly is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. Just just straight up one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. You ready to trade? Okay. I could do it in PLA. You're right, actually. You're actually right. Uh, what am I doing? <laughs> oh, I need to get it. I need to put the thing on it. Getting ahead of myself. The Electa... Electivisor. Electa... Electa, Electa. Lecturizer. Ugh, I have to have it in my party. Mushy, look at Mushy Mush! Look at Breloom! Spin! She's having a grand old time, chat. Look at that. <laughs> oh, Breloom is a delight. Breloom is an absolute delight. Trying to evolve some milsery. It's doing the Leon pose. That's always like trade evolutions are so lame too, chat, because I, I mean, he could cancel and send it back to me and it would evolve, but I don't. Like, I don't need that to... <laughs> like, you don't even get to see your Pokemon evolve with, with trade evolutions. It's just so lame. They wish we could... They don't modernize enough. Did I get cloth? I did! Two seconds into the sandwich, Cloth appeared. It was a true crab miracle. And then I used the rest of the sandwich to go down to Area Zero and get... Uh, I, so I got a Glimmit. I was looking for Glamora, but I just evolved... Uh, I just evolved my Glimmit, so I got Glamora. And then I just caught Electabuzz, so now I'm getting Electivire. I do like the blue on shiny Electivire. Hey, at least Electabuzz- wait, what? I already hit yes. 
Why did it ask me twice? At least, at least Electabuzz and Electivire- <laughs> that made me lose my train of thought. At least Electabuzz and Electivire have better shinies than Elect Kid, who is the worst shiny of all time. No joke. Yeah, I don't like the name PLZ. Like, I don't like Legends Arceus Z, or <laughs> Legends Arceus. Legend- <laughs> I'm so used to saying Legends Arceus. Uh. Z-A is clunky. How many- how many electric Pokémon have plugs on them? <laughs> it's an electric Pokémon, so it has a plug, get it? Excuse me, my brothers. I like Electivire, but I like Electabuzz more. I don't know, something about Electivire, it almost has like a fake mon. <laughs> fake mon vibe to it, but I like it! But it's also, like, I don't know, like, Electabuzz is just way cooler. Oh yeah, he looks like he's just, like, a guy out for a jog. I like Rhydon, Magmar, and Electabuzz more than all their 4th gen evolutions. He looks like a retired superhero. That's... I, I, I honestly get what you mean. He's got a way bigger frame. Like, Magmortar, Rhyperior, and, and Electivire are all just, like, big boys. I don't know. They, they're, they're just not as charming as their Gen 1 counterparts. I, I don't know. Well, that was the fast- that was a quick shiny, jeez. What's this item in here? Wow, a Comet Char! That's so worth it. They didn't need Evos. Electabuzz could have had a cool paradox. I would have loved to have seen like a flutter main, but for Electabuzz. Ugh. These, this area just- I, I just don't love the aesthetic of these blocks. Nor pre-evos? No, I disagree with that. Electkid and Magby are great. And then Rhyhorn is f fine. <laughs> like, I like Rhyhorn. Man, there's some baby haters in chat. <laughs> yeah, they have no, like, design cohesion. It, they're just obnoxious blocks plopped onto the natural-looking ground. They're bright, they're obnoxious, they're... they don't look like they fit. Let me take the manual way back and we'll see if I find any shinies on the way. What is wrong with baby Pokemon, chat? Y'all are wildin'. It was a great way to introduce breeding and eggs in Gen 2. Not every Pokemon needs to be, like, as strong as, I don't know, Zacian. <laughs> it's fine to have some Pokemon that 
evolve. I, like, I don't know. Smoochum, Pichu, Magby, Elect Kid, Tyrogue, Cleffa, Iglybuff, Goaded. Ugh. Look at this area. It just looks so bad. See, like, the purple here, I don't... I don't mind as much. But then it just goes into the... the... the white. I don't know, like, what, what was their design inspo? Exactly. Well, I did get three very good shinies. I did not mean to heal. <laughs> oh, he's just mashing A. Breloom is super healed. I got- th I finally got Cloth, thank god. Finally! After infinitely amount times later, I got Cloth. Let's see, were there any raids of any note that I could do? Zeb Striga, don't need that. It is a nice blue. And I finally got Glamora done. Another Gen 9 bluish rock shiny. And I got Electivire? For, yeah, I, I mean, why not? Sure. So, uh, my stream deck is sleeping right now, and I can't wake it up. <sighs> it's awesome. Thanks, Elgato. Uh, but if I could, I would be at 712 shinies. <laughs> I typed in E-L-E -E to bring up Electivire. I have Electrode, Electabuzz, Elect Kid. Electivire and Hisui Electrode. I'm missing Electrike. They should have taken- sh they need to patch Shinx out of this game and put Electrike in instead. That would be great. Thanks, guys. So from Gen 9, I still need Tandem Mouse and Mouse Hold, Smoliv's line, Tadbulb, Tinkaton's line, Wiglet, and Reverum. And Poltergeist- I don't have Poltergeist and Sinistra yet. And then everybody else is locked. I can't get Wo Chien. I can't get Gouging Fire. I can't get Terraplagos. I can't get Petcherunt. And I, of course, still need Spurgatito's line and blah, blah, blah. But I'm going to worry about that for another gen. Because Masuda in this game is bad. But yeah, thanks for hanging out tonight, chat. Uh, good progress. Good progress done here. And tomorrow we're going to be doing Shaman. Shaman Sunday. So going back to <laughs> everyone's favorite games, BDSP. And, and working on Shaman some more. I got to... Uh... Two, 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 two. For, for Shaman, so... That'll be... That'll be good. Maybe we can get to like... 20, 26 or something like... 2600 or something like that. But yeah, check out the Discord. Okay. Uh, Badoof bot's broken. <laughs> well, you, you could find it if you truly would like to find it. Shout out to the YouTube viewers, I appreciate y'all. Thanks for all the follows tonight, everybody. And yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah, Badoof's taking a nap. I'll see you guys tomorrow for Shame and Sunday. Good night, everybody. Thanks for hanging out. Bye. Oh, there it works. <laughs> okay, Badoof bot. All right. <laughs>